Our Director of Advocacy and Engagement at the Center for Democratic Development, CDD Ghana, Dr. Kojo Pumpune Asante, is advocating a reform in the political finance system to manage issues of monetization in Ghana's body politic. This follows last weekend's NPP parliamentary primaries, which was marred by allegations of vote buying and voter inducement. Speaking in an interview with Joy News, Dr. Asante Pumpini says the situation must be of national concern as it breeds corruption and promotes illicit financial flow. The deterrent effect, you see, at the moment, is so pervasive. So uh, at the beginning of all these contests, the parties would issue you know, uh, statements that, well, people should not accept money, should not, should not give money, and they give it, and there's no punishment. And that's why I like the intervention of the OSP, because, you see, the, the citizens also have to understand that they have a responsibility. They all have to be law-abiding, just like the candidates are. So if you also take advantage of it, a uh, delegate, you're going demanding money from people, you are corrupting the political process. You cannot expect that you are taking a bribe to, for you to, to exercise your franchise and expect that somehow the person that goes into government will then have clean hands and will be able to focus on the process of governance. So we also have to take responsibility. And that's why I'm saying that we all have to have equal deterrence. And if one or two people are made examples of maybe we will take a step back. Of course, this is a short-term measure. The bigger agenda is that the whole political system has to be reformed. And we really need to look at the financing of party and campaigns as well. So these are not new things you are raising. You have been talking about them yeah. in the opportunity that you are given. Yeah. Now, what is the level of impact this is having on our democracy? No, I, I, I see the, the parties as a shadow of themselves. It's, it's really about money now. And, you know, once you have parties where it is really the highest bidder, then it means that, you know, the party philosophy, uh, commitment, whatever, all gets lost. And now we've also seen the last study that we did, we've also seen the, the role of illicit financing as well from Galamse, from, you know, all these 419 uh, activities that, you know, some people are involved with, timber, you know, illegal fishing. Now, once you begin to get that, then it's even more a dangerous process. Because what happens is that those kinds of illicit activities, they are looking for protection. So they are sponsoring politicians who will have power and who will shield them you know, from the law. And then basically you are basically cre creating a criminal enterprise, a criminal you know, state. So we have to be careful that we don't get to, uh, uh, to points where it becomes even dangerous for you to go and contest. So, Doug, if you look at our political terrain, we are more than less, a chunk of it is about socialism. We are not drifting to more than less a capitalist form of um, politics. Do you, do, are there some serious dangers associated with that? I don't even that? say it's a capitalist, because even with capitalist systems, there is safeguards, there are uh, uh, rules. You know, in the U.S., for example, if you go and use, you know, uh, spend money in any the way they, they, you go to jail, I mean, it's a very simple matter. Here, there, it seems like there's no fetus, there's no brick, there's no filter. Uh, everybody just does, and they do it in the open. So people can boldly come and say, uh, I didn't get enough money from this person. That is why I think that it should elevate the seriousness of the problem, both on the receiving side and the giving side. Then maybe citizens will start like, oh, this matter is serious. At the moment, it's like, or people just can come and talk about vote buying and all of these monies without any consequences. That, I think, immediately, that is something we have to address. But as soon as possible, we all have to commit ourselves to developing that reform. You know, I have looked at different ways in which you can do it. You need a comprehensive campaign and party financing law that would deal with how you get monies into the parties, but also how you spend money. Thank you. Meanwhile, Member of Parliament for Ahafo North constituency, Suleiman Adamusani, says he does not regret giving money to delegates to vote for him as he sees it as helping them arrive at the polling stations. It's because um, the, the satisfaction that I derive is from the fact that uh, 
I was able to uh, impact on the lives of my constituents in a positive way. Uh, even though um, I, I know that um, I could have made some uh, financial fortunes elsewhere, but uh, going into parliament and then getting the opportunity to serve the people in the manner that I did, I, I think is satisfying for me um, uh, 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 in a, to a large extent, yes. So you had to spend millions of uh, CDs just to get to parliament. How were you able to get these monies? How were you able to get your money back? Um, I, I was not really looking at how to get it back. But uh, just like I said, um, going in, a lot of friends supported me. I, had, I was very fortunate to have that support. Uh, and for the two terms, um, though I, 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 I didn't get uh, the kind of expectations that I was expecting, I, that I was actually envisaging, I wanted to see a situation where uh, Parliament would have, would have been a platform where uh, uh, I would have been able to contribute more than what I was able to do. Your, your two terms in office, have you been able to achieve that? Uh, I've, to a large extent, at least I've, I've achieved about 50% of my expectation. But I would have loved to do more. I would have loved to have achieved more than that. Do you regret giving money to delegates just to give you the opportunity to lead them? I, I don't regret, but the only uh, 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 situation that I find myself is that uh, I think, in a way, in a way, I've, um, we were all seeing it as a, uh, what do you call it, uh, giving them some TNT, facilitating their uh, But I've realized that it's actually something that is going to increase. We, we, we can, it's only going to increase. Even though at that time we were all looking at it, oh, this is uh, just a token. It wasn't a big money. It was a token to give to a delegate to come and vote. But I realized that as time goes on, it's changing. And once it's changing and it's becoming a big problem, then uh, we, we, those of us who are the main actors must open up and start talking about and would you it.